Hello everybody, this is Dave from RegisterCityTV.ca in sunny Red Deer, Alberta. I've been away from doing filming and, and a few other things. I've been sort of putting my energy in developing on Magic Lantern. I've been working on a couple of projects. It's been taking me quite a while and that's why I haven't posted anything on, on my channel. And what I've been working on is two things. I'm working on uh, getting Ultra HD. So we're talking 3840 um, on the 5D Mark II. Now, where I'm at, where I'm at at that at this moment, I'm I've been able to get a 3585 by 1068, uh, which records at 150 four megabits per second and that's the other part of my development uh, the other thing i'm working on with some other fellows on the form is lawless uh, compression um, canon has what they call their cr2 files uh, their their files and they are basically raw jpeg compression um, so we're starting to tap into that and some of the cameras can do this already but the 5D Mark II can't do this quite right. Um, it's about 60 or 70 percent, but there's still quite a bit of work yet to be done. So that's the two projects I'm working on because I need compression, uh, raw compression, so I can um, so I can record the Ultra HD images. And so far, I'm up to 3585 by 1068, which is quite good. Um, so, but Unfortunately, I don't have a clear image yet. I'm still working on it. So um, a little bit later on, I'll show you some of my development and I'll show you where, my, where I'm at at the moment. And the other thing, um, so I guess it'll be third thing, is that I'm working on, um, we sort of got, um, we, sort, we sort of got uh, 10 and 12 bit working in one to one mode. I'm filming this right now in 12-bit in 1-to-1 at 1856 by 1044 at 24 frames a second or 23.97 at uh, uh, with flame with uh, frame override lock on so it's exact uh, 23.976 so why is that such a big thing well the other cameras can do it but before we could only do it in crop mode without any frame corruption. Now I'm getting it in one-to-one -one mode. So it's more usable. I can attach the HDMI. So with, the, with this new development, um, this could expand the Digi4 cameras on all the CF cards quite a bit. We're also working a 7D Mark II, or sorry, the 7D Mark I, uh, excuse me, and uh, all the rest of the Digi4s. So really, realistically, the, the D50, the 5D Mark II, and the, 7, and the 7D are the cameras that we're focusing on development. Right now, um, the 7D ha is a little more stable on 10, 10 and 12 bit. It doesn't have it doesn't have corruption in one to in uh, three times crop mode. But uh, hey, it's, it's it's a start. So so yeah, we're 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 we are getting ahead. But I do we do need people to participate on the forum so we can push this right over the edge and get these Digi4 cameras, high end cameras like the 5D Mark II up into the level of the 5D Mark III. So right now I can't release the code, I can't release the build right now um, uh, unless there's more work done on it. Um, if you're a developer, if, you got, if you're somebody that knows to how to read C code and you want to participate, um, yeah, email me and I'll set you up and I'll, and I'll give you some uh, experimental test builds. But uh, yeah, to the general public, it, can't just, it just cannot be released just yet. So sorry about that, everybody. So until, until next time, uh, this is Dave from RedyearCityTV.ca in Red Year, Alberta, Canada. Uh, spring's almost here. 
Uh, tomorrow is daylight saving time, so spring ahead, everybody in uh, North America. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Ciao.